everyone this is David Pike Motor City Mechanic back with another video now today what I'm going to do I'm going to show you where the locations are on a Dodge ProMaster for adjusting the front headlights check it out Now this set of headlights has actually a horizontal and a vertical adjustment, so you can do both of them. Some of our vehicles, you can only do horizontal. This one, like I said, has both of them. When you're going through this, make sure you take care not to damage any of the close-up panels, the one above or the one below. I'll show you what you need to do. Just go ahead and take your time. You shouldn't have any problems. Let's go ahead and get started. And when it comes time to get to the adjustments for the headlamp assembly, we've got to take two panels off. We've got to take the upper close out panel here and the lower one as well because we've got a horizontal adjustment at the top we've got a vertical adjustment at the bottom but they're not accessible without the panels being taken off the upper one's pretty cut and dry I'll show you it the bottom one you got to take a little care not to damage the trim piece and the way it fastens on uh, there's some plastic fingers that go over here and here that snap on if you try to pull on it you can snap them off so make sure you pay attention when we're taking this off Let's go ahead and move on to taking the upper panel off. Now we've got two plastic fasteners on this side. They're actually serrated so you can back them off by hand. If they're a little too tight, you can put a Phillips screwdriver in there. Go ahead and grab both of them. Back them all the way. Make sure you put them somewhere where you're not going to lose them. And we get that out of the way. We're going to lift up. When we lift up, we got to clear this corner. So we lift up first, we pick up and clear. Now it's got some plastic fasteners right here that usually are snapped into the headlamp assembly. Sometimes they're holding on good, sometimes they're not. This one didn't feel like it was snapping in place at all. But you gotta, like I said, take care about not damaging this ear. It's gotta go under the top edge of that fender, tilt down, line everything up, and then put your two fasteners that we just took off. So take that off. That's gonna gain access to our horizontal adjustment that's over here. Now with the upper panel out of the way, if you look at this elongated hole right here, that's actually where we're going to insert our T15. And it goes in down at an angle. Once it's in place, it's a matter of turning left or right, and that will adjust the height of the bulb as far as aiming it up or aiming it down. And that's where you'll access it through there. You need to get your flashlight looked in, and you'll see the angle that you need to insert your tool, and then you'll see how it lines up. That's it, T15. Now, once we get the two fingers released over here on the back corner, it's two press in fasteners. They got metal clips on it, they just snap in. We'll use a plastic trim stick to try to get around the corners, and we'll use that to pop off. Now, that metal clips sometimes want to stay attached to the vehicle and not the trim panel. If they do, we need to take them off, reinstall them on the panel, and we go back. We'll Bottom trim panel right here actually has a Phillips screw you got to back out. That one you can't do by hand, you're going to have to use a Phillips screwdriver. Let's get it out of the way. Except the tendency is you want to pull on this, but if you pull on this, you're going to break the hooks on the back side. Now, I've never had this one off. They may or may not be broke already, but that's what we need to do. And the best way to do it is you kind of got to reach behind the back side and push in on the fingers to pop it off. Now, the fasteners on the back side have already been released. I've already looked in here. One of them's already been broke off from someone doing a previous repair, so I'll show you what they look like. Now, on the back corner, like I said, you need to get your trim stick up under. Take your time, pop it off, and there you go. This one, the metal clips actually stayed on here, so that's good. One of them's a little loose, so we'll push it back down on there. But like I said, on the back side, we got one of the things that's still intact, the other one's been broke off. So someone's done some repairs to the headlight before, and they broke it off. Now the reason why I say you reach from the back side is you got to push this finger over to clear. And you got to try to get both of them. Usually I can get the uh, front one, once I get the front one off, usually the back comes off easy at that point. But nonetheless, I try to get my hands back behind the headlamp assembly from the engine compartment to try to release them. Because they snap on here and here. So with that panel off, you look at the bottom of the headlight, this right here, it looks like a bolt that's holding the assembly in place. That one right there is actually what we use for adjusting the vertical position. You're going to be using a 10 millimeter for that, you need to back it off or tighten it up and that will actually do vertical, which is side to side. So there you go. 
long as you take your time, you shouldn't have any problems. Just make sure you don't damage either the upper or the lower closeout panel. You follow the steps they gave you, you should do fine. So at this point, this is where I ask for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget you can like me on Facebook, and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well. If you got any comments or suggestions about the adjustment on the headlights on this ProMaster or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, please feel free to email me at david at MotorCityMechanic.com and I will try to get back to you in a timely manner. Once again, thanks for watching these videos.